so let's start with the last session which is in bsn bcnf normalization okay hope you all understand it once more read out the definition bcn schemas in bcnf normalization means it should satisfy x is a super key of r okay so we have decomposed it into two relations lots one a x and lots one a y okay so uh, one more example here suppose a b c are three attributes in a relation r where a and b are prime attributes and c is a non-prime attribute fd1 means it satisfies 2n up to 2n up and 3n up since a identifies a b identifies c okay that means x is a super key of r okay here either x 3n up says that either x is a super key of r or a is a prime attribute so here the second fd says that c identifies b that means here b is a prime attribute it satisfies the second condition in 3nf but if we need to normalize it into bcnf it this fd2 doesn't satisfy bcnf since c is not a super key so bcnf means it is um the x is a super key of r that is the definition so let's see one more example teach schema in which three attributes are there student course and instructor so this is a relation state here teach is the schema in which student id and course are um, prime attributes or primary keys and this instructor is a non-prime attribute so fd1 says that student id along with the course identifies instructor one student who is taking one course that is handled by which instructor so that is defined in this schema so this satisfies up to 3nf okay and also it satisfies bcnf since x is a super key of r but in the case of fd2 okay fd2 instructor identifies course which is against bcnf but it is in 3nf this See this relation teach that is in 3nf but not bcnf since what instructor is not a prime attribute or a super key. Okay. So that is a problem here. So in order to achieve the bcnf by decomposition you may uh, one thing is student course identifies instructor and another one is instructor identifies course of which student and course are candidate keys okay so this relation is in 3nf but not in bcnf so we need to decompose in order to attain bcnf by preserving all the functional dependencies in the decomposed relation that is our rule but here student id course is chosen as the primary key fd2 doesn't violate 3nf since course is a prime attribute but fd2 violates bcnf since instructor is not a super key of teach relation so this can be decomposed into any of these three four possible pairs First one is student ID instructor. See here, student ID instructor and other one is student ID course. So let's see. Student ID instructor means student Narayan mark. Okay, so this mark is again handling another student Valas. Okay, so Valas is having 
another instructor ahmed narayan is also having another instructor amar so in order to get unique tuple you need to keep the student and instructor as a primary key that means student and instructor can togetherly identify a particular tuple narayan mark okay similarly balas mark or narayan amar okay and another one is we have seen here is student course so we decomposed one into student instructor of which student id and instructor is primary that means both these um, attributes can togetherly identify a particular tuple similarly student id course if we are taking like student id course they are also the same problem narayan is taking da database and also smith is also studying database and narayan is studying operating system also okay so in order to identify this particular tuple narayan database or narayan operating system or smith database or narayan database okay so here also student and course togetherly identifies a particular tuple so that is the uh, schema here one thing is student id instructor and student id course next option is course instructor which course is handled by which instructor so instructor can be given as a primary key okay see here because mark is handling only database navathe is handling only database and amar is handling operating system only okay shulman is handling only theory of computation so like that so we can say instructor is not repeating here okay that means he is mapped with only one course so we can say this instructor as a primary key okay but we cannot give course as a primary key since database is handled by mark and database is handled by navathe also but mark is handling only database so here we have given course instructor and next is course student id course instructor is one relation and other relation is course student id of which course students one student is studying more than one course and one course is studied by more than one student so we can togetherly uh, with this these two attributes course and student id we can identify a particular tuple this is the second option and the third option is instructor identifies course that we have already said and the one is instructor identifies student id okay that means one instructor who is handling uh, a particular student okay here also instructor stood id that both are taken as the primary key since narayan narayan's instructor is mark and amar okay similarly amar is handling another student smith mark is handling another student valas so we can take togetherly these two key the attributes as primary keys student and instructor togetherly identifies a particular um tuple so we have already said this so instructor course of these three option the first two options make some spurious tuples there is a chance for some spurious tuples since stud id instructor stud id course of which stud id is the common one when you join this relation there will be a chance of spurious tuple okay similarly in the case of course instructor course student id course is the general or some common attribute so we join according to this course so there is also a chance for spurious tuple but here instructor is the key here sorry um, common attribute here so an instructor can handle only one course 
okay so according to the that course you can identify the particular student so there is no chance of spurious double generation in the last schema decomposition so we can adopt instructor course and instructor stood id so these are the two relations when you um, can um, change or make it into bcnf you have adopted this instructor stood and instructor course but here also some problem that is it doesn't preserve the dependency fd1 of the original relation the original relation the original relation student id goes our candidate keys in which both student id along with the course identifies a particular instructor that was fd1 which cannot be um, preserved here okay so that is the problem here so in the next session we can start with the dependency preservation and the lossless join property of normalization okay thank you hope you all got an idea about the various normal forms go through it go through the definitions by heart it and do more examples okay so we will upload uh, another tutorial of this session normal forms so please study this uh, properly because it's very important in previous university question papers uh, they will give you some schema and uh, um, ask to solve it into 3nf or bcnf okay so um, please work out this and uh, study the definitions properly okay thank you